All right, what's up, guys? It's Big Boy Two by Four here, coming at, coming back at you with another video review. Um, now it's Jazz or Autobot Jazz. I don't know. I I don't know if it's Jazz or Autobot Jazz. Someone um comment me and see if I'm right or wrong. Cause I swear it's Jazz. I swear it's Jazz. So, whatever. um, he's a Pontiac. He's a Pontiac Hardtop Solstice. Mostly. I say a hard top sources because most times they're like um what's the word for it? Convertible top. But um yeah. As you can see I extended the um I extended the cannon because most times crap. Most times they have it like that. I like to extend it out. Well I like to extend out the whole blade and just slide the tip back in looks better like that to me anyway um to transform this guy first thing you do well you don't want to break it off so what you do just bend that to the back pull on the tip of the blade and just pop it off like that um next thing take the top take the back part here flip it up and to save on so much time snap it off I just snap off his shield so yeah next thing pull down the wheels and twist the um knees around pull out the knee joint and pull out the um <laughs> pull out the heel spur and then b bend it down then um, twirl this little thing right here around to the back until it stops until it stops once it stops don't keep spinning it that's probably why some people has it has theirs broke anyway do the same thing with this and spin it till it stops because it has a stopper on the side anyway take the whole waist bend it forward and have it clamp in because there is a peg right there there's a hole right there and have it peg in and I'm only explaining this because of the fact that some people might not have jazz so to you veterans that already have jazz yeah don't comment me too harsh just doing this for the newbies so anyway um, pull out the arms and yeah you gotta s you gotta finagle them out <laughs> finagle like that anyway once you um pulled out both his arms pull this tab to the back until it covers up the wheel do the same thing on the other side um pull this front car part up and fold his wheels around now I do something different with my door. I do something different with the arms. Now, some people have the arms like this. Not me. I fold it around. And I have it like this. And I have it somewhere like that. It stays in place a lot better. You know, it doesn't move around as much. And it stays in place a li little bit tighter. So I suggest you do something like that. It don't, it looks like this when um you're in robot mode. It looks like that. So yeah, just come out a little bit. Um, do the same thing on this side and bend his arm up so it'll look like I have it. Yeah, so it'll look like that. Um, and bend this down to reveal his head now um everybody says that now um, yeah this is jazz now hold on hopefully he'll stand because that's the only good pose that I have him in so far but um everybody like jazz has this um kick ass um and what's it called again light piping yeah he has this kick-ass light piping. He's so cool. He has the best light piping in the whole movie line. And I'm like, 
Yeah, it's the best light piping because he only has one eye. I mean, and it, it didn't bother me as much. It, I just found it funny because, I mean, he only has one eye. Of course he's have the best light piping. I mean, it looks nice. Look at his head. Oh, you can't see his head. You can see his head now in the light. So, yeah. See his head. Anyway, he has two weapons. He has, well, this blade thing. Now, he used it in the game. And he used it as a blade. A telescoping sword. Which I thought was a gun. Which everybody thinks is a gun. Which is not a gun. It's a sword. Which looks weird. But, what I do... Folding in the arm, his whole hand is now a blade. Cause I hid the I hid the little fingers inside here, just folded them back in and folded in the um folded in the arm plate, so his whole arm can become a blade. Now the shield can fit on here. Hold on, can fit on here, and he is ready. He's ready for battle. But also there is something else you can do when he is not in battle or when he's like communicating with Optimus talking about what's their next plan to do with the auto to do with the um Decepticons yeah that's not good that was not good that was bad on my part my belt my bad <laughs> snap that back in all right um you can there we go you can put this right here and have a holster. You can use it like that. And I wish we could rotate it so it could be like a shoulder mounted weapon or like a side shoulder mounted weapon, but it looks good. It almost like a holster for both his blade for his blade when he's not using it. Now um articulation um he had now for articulation his arms can go around. That's one. It can go in and out of the body. Uh, that's two. Um, he can bend at the elbow. That's three. See, he has six points of articulation. Um, for his legs, he can go forward. That's one. He can go backward a little bit. So I counted as two. He can bend at the knee, but you have to rotate. You have to rotate this in order to get full knee capacity. So I'll still count it. So that's three. Also, it can rotate at the knees. So that's four. Yeah, it can rotate at the knee. So that's four. And he can um bend his feet up and down. Yeah, wait. You didn't see that. He can bend his feet up and down. That's four. I mean, um, hey. That's Five. He, he has ten points of articulation in his legs. My bad. Um, his his head also rotates, and it has the Barbie effect. If you don't know what the Barbie effect is, look at movie Bumblebee review. Anyway, now he stands pretty sturdy when his heel spurs are not in the way, because his heel spurs tend to bend back, and he will fall. So when you're modeling him, beware of that. Anyway, this is the big boy two by four signing off. See you.